playing so many games. No loot boxes. Oh man. So many games. I haven't had loot box in a minute. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man, this game this game's almost two years old. Oh, if only. Oh, what's what's this? What's over here? Oh, premium. Premium vent. Oh, what's, what's a premium vent? Oh, 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 loot boxes. Oh, animation. Oh, animation. Oh, animation. Yep. It's it's gonna be one of those. It's it's gonna be one of those videos. So if you're one of those loot box defenders, crusaders of wallets and mommy's money and daddy's cash, cruce you know those people with the money to blow that don't give a shit about people who don't have that type of money, which is my biggest thing. I haven't really seen anybody talk about the fact that they're gamers who don't have money to buy, you know, sh sh sixty dollar games and then be on that low percentage of people who are shit in games because they didn't shell out cash. Thank you, Battlefront. Thank you, EA. So, yeah, if you don't already know, The Division has added loot boxes. Fucking loot boxes. You know, and let's we'll see what they have. They added the underground a long time ago. Then they added survival. Oh, last stand. I guess this is another purchase DLC lap to play last stand. So yeah, I could now also purchase their other DLC content that I, I don't get access to unless I pay more money, right? Yeah, pay more fucking money to go play your other DLC content that I guess is in there somewhere. There are global events. Woo! Global events. Maybe you can get some keys for the loot boxes we loot box Woo. i fucking hate loot boxes with the f with a passion no seriously i'm one of those people who's actually affected by them who actually ends up spending money on these shits even though i know i won't get anything i don't want to spend money on them yeah I'm a, I have those addictive tendencies. See, a lot of people say, "Oh, this doesn't affect me." I don't know what you're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're those you're those percentage of people who don't give a fuck because it doesn't affect you. That's the issue. You're ignorant. You don't understand it, so it doesn't exist to you in your bubble. That's that's the thing. You don't want to acknowledge it. And then there, the, it's beyond also that addictive tendency shit. What also plays into that psychological things. You see, I'm one of those type of people who likes to play games for the cosmetics, but not to buy them. Not to, you know, not to have an option to buy them. To earn them. For them to mean something. Like this outfit, some of this gear, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty sure most of this gear still, actually meant something. See, they, there were these missions, you know. There are missions in the game where you can get nice gear. Oh, but wait. Now, there's better gear for purchase at the premium vendor, so guess what that means? That means that my nice gear that I work for don't mean jack shit, because other people could just buy better shit. And even if I did buy better shit, guess what that means? It, it doesn't mean shit. Woo, I'm another person who purchased cosmetics and didn't work for them. See, that's my biggest peeve right here. My biggest tick off is the fact that I worked I worked for my cosmetic Agents, shit. We, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson rail yard uh, there. Shut up. I fucking worked for my cosmetics. They meant something. They actually meant something. And now now they don't mean anything. Now it doesn't mean shit. Might as well wear any other shitty outfit because anybody could just jump into a game I play and purchased whatever and look better than me. Oh, if you paid some money, you could look cool too. You could look cool too. And the best part is I don't want to pay money to look cool too because I already know it doesn't mean shit. But guess what? 
I have addictive tendencies, so I want to either way. And I'm still pushed to. And I'm still probably going to. So you know what I have to do? I have to avoid games so I don't spend all my money on them. I have to avoid games with loot boxes. I have to avoid games that are overpriced with microtransactions. Just so I don't spend $60, and then spend $40, and then another $20, and then $30, and then boom, I'm out of money for a month. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody gives a shit because it doesn't affect them. It's just cosmetic. You see, you don't give a shit when it doesn't affect you. You really don't. You know, I'm not I'm not a total turd, which is the issue with the gaming community right now. I don't give a shit if people dislike, smash them dislikes, hate me. Hey, I, like, and this is something I've gone along with life as well. I've told this to many other people. I really don't care how people feel about me. If I, If something's wrong, I'm going to call it out. If something's not right, I'm going to call it out. And if people are going to hate me for it, I, I don't give a shit. Like, you know, there, there are a lot of people out there that are just stupid. And it's to a point where the most you can do is just say things to piss them off. Because it's funny to watch them get all aggro. But you can't try to convince them that they're wrong. There's no help. There literally is no help. Trump supporters have proved this. And go ahead, Trump supporters, smash them dislikes too. Because you are... F <sighs> Whew, I could make a whole other video about you in games. Oh my god, it's fucking great to be playing a, va a video game. And then all of a sudden the subject is these goddamn fucking Koreans. Yeah, yeah, because that's, that's what I want to be talking about during my video games. Is Koreans and they need to get out of our country. Yeah. Great, thanks, Trump supporters. Thank you very fucking much. As if the loot boxes in our video games weren't enough of a problem, we have to deal with that now, too. Like, video games suck. And it's beyond just the publishers making it suck. It's the gamers themselves making it suck. I shouldn't even be making a video about this. I didn't want my channel to be about this. But when The Division, a game that I used to love... It has its issues. Now, I could make a video on a, on own what's wrong with this game, but I still loved it. When, when a game that's almost two years old has loot boxes. The year, in a year where loot boxes are in early access. Player unknown. Player unknown. Player on. I haven't played I this game in so fucking long. I actually Quick. put the game down after I saw the microtransactions. Never touched it again. I'm never gonna touch it again after this video either. This is it. This is the last time I ever play this game. Every time I find microtransactions in a game, it just downgrades the experience for me. Like, I like how some people don't feel that. I don't understand how. It's all I feel whenever. Or, uh, Whenever I play a game with microtransactions. But then again... Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's one of those things that sucks about this game. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck away from me! Okay, you know what? Fucking prick. Oh man, this is this is fucking shit. This 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 doesn't feel like a sixty dollar experience anymore. And that's my biggest issue with these fucking loot boxes. Video games not only make me want to buy shit. Lucky luckily enough I don't give a fuck about the cosmetics in this game, so it doesn't really bother me as much. It's just the fact that they added them to this game. Like that's that it's not even older games are safe. Not even, like, that's the thing. You can buy a game, and it can get loot boxes still. It can still get loot boxes. Like, you can fucking buy a game, and they can still add loot boxes. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, Division? Like, why am I surprised to the slightest bit that Ubisoft did something like this? Okay, maybe I don't need to do this, people. For sixty dollars, you too can pay more money for the DLC. You too 
can buy cosmetics through loot boxes. I mean, I, in, I, at least in this game, I believe you can purchase them without having to buy a loot box, so there's that. Woo. But I believe they're like on some kind of timer or some shit. I don't know how the fuck it works. Refugee camp, Shady Town. Jesus, you don't think they. Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure. Oh, that's not good. What the maniac, fuck? Where'd they come from? You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive oh, this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agent. Oh, that's not good. How the fuck did he get over there? I'm serious. Wow. Camera, thank you. Can I switch to my knife? Oh no, I guess I can't while I'm on fire. Do go over! No, don't stand there! Go over! Thank you! Jesus Christ! There we go. God damn. What was my daily assignment? Use my pistol? Is that what it was? I, I don't even know what the hell my daily assignment was. Ah, <sighs> man, this game is so dead. I have the matchmaking open on challenging, correct? Am I in challenging? Yeah. No, nobody's here. I guess loot boxes didn't bring in any players. Oh, no. Who would have seen that one coming? Huh, Ubisoft? Huh. It's almost as if people don't like paying more money for a game. Who would have seen that coming? Well, not Ubisoft. Definitely not EA. Not Activision. Not Square Enix. Not Konami. Huh. We could go down the entire list, couldn't we? Pay more money. Welcome to the sales experience that is gaming. God, this is just shit. This is ass. This feels more like a free-to-play experience at this point. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the truth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, oh, obviously bitch. you're gonna Mother try and keep them all alive. But I need those virus okay, I you know what? Just beat me. Beat the shit out of me. Here, you shoot him. So keep them extra alive. There you go. You know what I'm saying. I'm going... This guy seems to be more enthusiastic about this than I do. Then again, when this game wasn't Confirmed. a fucking right. loot box, to burn out the whole damn yard. And when they do, kill I actually did a lot of fucking work. I've made it 
I fucking an obligation to myself to not support any box. Any box. Any. Yeah, oh no, I'm just gonna call them loot boxes from now on. They're not even games, they're loot boxes. Refugees as they can find. Medical personnel? A couple of EMTs in the mix, Doctor? Yes. Get going, Ace. Without contaminating the sample. Ow! That hurts. Or in. I can't believe my gear is this OP now. Eh, yeah, thanks, but for some reason my health regens. Like, by itself, I, I don't understand why. I don't know. Let me, um... Switch, switch. Now, will they set him on fire? No. They don't do that? They don't set people on fire anymore? Or do they just have like an extremely low chance of doing it? Bullet Sponge, the boss. Asshole! The assholes! Ow, 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 ow. This is fucking irritating as all hell. This is beyond irritating at this point. This is just fucking annoying. Ah, oh, that didn't work very well, now did it? <sighs> okay. Let's drop that. Are you kidding me? Really? Fucking pricks. Play Ring Around the Fucking Rosie for a while. Okay, I need to reload this. Oh, nope, I think he's gonna get it. Up oh, there. Oh shit. Shit. This is not a good spot to be. Can I, um, get past him? There we go. I was wondering what the fuck's going on. Can you leave me the fuck alone? Thank you. Oh, let me guess. Now there's more. Yep. Oh, this is awesome. Since all of them want to come after- Jesus Christ, how many of them do they need to send after me? What is this? What the fuck is going on here? You know what, I guess deal with the boss. If you can. This is retarded. How? I wonder how long I can run for. Oh, he got the boss finally? I think he did. Oh my god, this is fucking irritating! This is so fucking annoying! <laughs> what the f- who thought this was a good idea for a fucking boss room? Yay. Now you can get loot boxes for the Division 2. whoop de diddly fucking dick Uh, why the fuck did they add loot boxes to this game? It did not help the player base at all. Agent, in the crane controls, I'm never gonna somewhere. play in. Wow. Oh my god. A hat that actually looks different. Too bad I couldn't find it in the actual game before. When I, uh, you know, when I purchased it for $60. Awesome. Or I can get them for free. You don't have to. To buy them. Yep, yep, of course you can buy keys. They're purchasable with their in-game currency. Uh, best value, $49.99. Best fucking value, $50 fucking dollars. Yeah, best goddamn value, my f fuck. These fucking bullshit-ass free-to-play microtransaction bullshit. 
Are you fucking kidding me? You're f Ugh, they're not. They're serious. They're fucking serious. They're fuck. I don't even want to do I'll it. I'm done. Time. That's it. Well, I'm gonna uninstall this game now. I'm never gonna play it again. That's the Division Loot Boxes. If you're, if you need your loot boxes, you can always fucking purchase them here. It's just cosmetics. It's just cosmetics.